Hello, my name is Craxo and today I'll introduce you to the top anime to watch in spring 2024. Continuations and readaptations will not be added to the list, that's why we won't have the readaptation of Spice and Wolf in the list. This is the list. We're gonna start with our 5 honorable mentions, cause boy oh boy there are a lot of shows this season. First honorable mention, a condition called love. So a girl who has never dated thought that she needs no guy, giving an umbrella to guys she just witnessed in a breakup. He fell in love on first sight, like come on bud, and the very next day he annoys her till she gives up and starts to date him, so yes. Let's go to the second mention, second mention. Bartender Glass of God. Similar to the Isekai restaurant to another world, expect it's not food the main guy serves, but alcohol. So yeah, you got problems and you accidentally stumble to the bar the guy is in. Worry not, you will get one of the best drinks that suit your taste. I mean, this is just me ranting at the bar animated, right? Third mention, grandpa and grandma turn young again. We got a granny and grandpa madly in love with each other after being with each other since the ancient times then bada bing bada bong one morning they are young again but they still live like they lived expect young so it's a wholesome comedy read some tidbits of the manga in the past so yeah it's gonna be worth it. Fourth mention, Re-Monster. So, this is the first isekai, it's about a guy who after being isekai is a goblin. A goblin who likes to gobble these... Okay, let's be serious. Similar to Rimuru from Slime, he pours up by eating. So, he and himself, his goblin's companions, grow. And yeah, that's it. Watch it. Last mention, Whisper Me a Love Song. Okay, a girl's band performance at a freshman ceremony led to a girl being confessed by a spectator. She does not understand, but the maids say it's low, so I'll go with it. She goes with it, but finds out <laughs> that it's not low for her, but for her music. So what does she do? She wants to make a girl fall in love with not only the music, but herself too. So this could be an interesting gay girl's in it take, right? So, on the 10th place we've gotten Viral Hit, or if I read the manhwa, you know it under How to Fight, lol. So, our main guy, Hobbit, uh, I mean Hobbin, is a bread shuttle. In Korea, it's something like kid who buys the bread for the strong kids in the class. Once, he was in his classmate's house doing his shuttle stuff and tripped a cable, making the cameraman pissed off and starts to have a fight, cause his bully is a YouTuber. But only the monitor gone off and the camera saw the whole fight. It made it into a viral hit, so getting the taste of fame and money he did not get, he learns to fight from a YouTube channel, starts to record and bam, that's the premise. But the animation looks scuffed, so we'll see if it's any good. But the story on its own is interesting, so give it a shot. Or number 9 is Jellyfish can swim in the night. I mean, doesn't jellyfish always swim? I mean, okay. Is it bochi? I mean, so we've gotten a brunette with an identity crisis that wants to become someone with an identity, but it's already an identity, but okay. Always running away, wandering the Shibuya night, like what does such a young girl does there at the time, but okay. She meets a blonde girl, cause why not? It changes their life. Oyreka! They meet a purple hair and a pink hair. Oh, we've got the whole spectrum already. They become a group and more stuff happens. It looks interesting, that's why it's on the list. It could be a three episodes or more, depending on all the stuff like animation, music and so on, but it looks promising. And of course the number 8 is Kaiju number 8, one of the most anticipated new series in the world where we have monsters spawning in Japan. There is of course a defense army which fights such monsters and after that comes our main guy who is a sweeper. Or for the lack of a better term, janitor, cleanup lady, yeah. And after a mishap with a cleanup, he gets sent to a hospital where a parasitic monster infects him and bam he is a monster. A humanoid one. There were only seven humanoids recorded in the past, which each one worse than the other. So there you got the name of the series, his number eight. If it's gonna be clean and crusp, it could be one of the best series we've gotta see this season. 
On the 7th place we've got the many sides of a voice actor radio. This one piqued my interest. Two high school girls in the same school, coincidentally in the same class, are two hosts of a weekly radio program. On air, besties, off air, well, the opposite. Insults, bickering and so on. So it can go into any direction. But the text said girls low, so gays girl in it. You love to see it. Plus the animation, art style and so on looks quite good, so it can be a quite nice surprise. Number 6. From the popular manga series we have The Fable. So we are following an assassin who gets told off of his work, cause he did too much of work and his boss orders him to lay low for a year. And he has to abstain for killing, so if he kills someone, his boss will hire someone to off him off. So yeah. Oh, and he has a woman who should pretend to be his sibling for the one year duration and be always with him. So let's see if he can abstain for a year or not, shall we? On the number 5 we've got in Japanese Go. Go go lose a ranger! I will come you to the boys, the anime version, expect with Power Rangers, an action sci-fi series following the single monster D infiltrating the ranger force, which is only the tip of the iceberg. The heroes of justice being as corrupt as Homelander, having a deal with the monster army behind the scenes, seeing how D seized one of the divine artifacts only to be found out by the Power Rangers, how will the story unfold? Your precious D survive? A bright show filled with darkness behind the light. And action! On the number 4 we got Mission Yozakura Family. In short, a high school action comedy or mangai lost his parents in a car crash and is inept ever since. That's literally what's written on my animalist. He can only talk with one girl, which is well part of the best spy family in the world. Well, not the forgers, but still. And if he wants to live, he has to marry said childhood friend. So while fighting for his life, his wife and his childhood friend, which is already altogether one thing only, has to get strong. While uncovering the reasons behind the car crash of his parents, you get it, the backstory and stuff, it could be quite interesting, it's quite popular as a manga series, so yes, that's a recommendation you can get from me. As for the number 3 with a title so long I don't even want to say it, but here we go. I was reincarnated as the sound prince so I can take my time perfecting my magical ability. The story which I'm the most curious about, well at the very least the adaptation, I read the manga like not even a month ago, I love the style, the colors, the fights. The story is a rebirth story where he gets killed by a mage as a peasant only to become the seventh prince overflowing with magical energy. Being a literal monster who is madly interested in magic, anything not related in magic he has no interest in. Doing the most crazy stuff like blowing up the walls inside the castle the moment he opens his eyes cause the moment he was born he wanted to try his magic affinity. Then doing other stuff like releasing the mythical demon sealed from within the castle only to just make him his slave. Follow Lloyd in this cheeky fantasy adventure. Second to last, mysterious disappearances. We finally get another mystery story. From the trailer and description it feels like summertime rendering, so I'm intrigued. A bookstore clerk who wants to become a novelist cause some of her work in the past got recognition. Then some strange things start to happen around the town too. So she and her co-worker who likes to flirt around look into them. But the guy is hiding some stuff too. With their combined skills of occult knowledge, what will they uncover? I'm interested. I really like me some more of such stuff. It could be either a flip or flop, so I'm gonna give it a try. Da -da 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 -da. Or number one is... Windbreaker. It is number one cause it has the biggest potential out of all of them. Following a brawler, a delinquent who just wants to fight and reach the top. Top of what? Of course, a high school full of other delinquents. But don't be mistaken, two years ago it all changed. They start to become a windbreaker that shields the whole town of dangers. Following Haruka Sakura who has heterochromia on hairs and eyes. We follow him being at Sunsun and slowly climbing to the top, gathering delinquents along the way. Is he going to reach the top or will he stay at Sunsun till the end? I hope it will do better than the Marshall. Let's go! Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed my recommendation for the upcoming anime of Spring 2024. For more anime related content press like, subscribe and stay in good health. Bye!